some of the most unique and out of this world beautiful places on earth are located in northern Arizona and we just did a road trip starting with southern Arizona and could not be more different between difference between southern Arizona and northern Arizona and I already uploaded the videos so please check them out they are linked in the description and right now we are in Sedona Arizona and um, I will show you all about it but before I do please like subscribe and share this video with your friends and sign up for my weekly newsletters and please watch the ads I travel to different states of United States and explore life culture and nature of each destination and share my experiences with you and the goal is to explore all 50 states Sometimes you can't not to wonder how masterful the nature can be. It knows no limits. Day after day, year after year, million years after million years, it is patiently doing its thing and coming up with something like this. So 300 million years ago, this area was alternating between being the bottom of the ocean and uh, being a beach because of rise and fall of sea level. And then eventually for 100 million years that was happening, sandstone rocks started developing and depositing. From 200 million years ago to 65 million years ago, dinosaurs were roaming this area. And then after that, the southern Arizona started an uplift and northern Arizona was faulting and then for a few more million years there was some volcanic activities and eventually when Colorado Plateau uplifted and started erosion by wind, rain and snow melt so that way eventually it created this Oak Creek Canyon and um, exposed these incredible rock formations. Now, uh, right now we're at Red Rocks Crossing Trail. It's about two mile trail along the creek. Really not so hard to get here, anybody can do it. But that view of the mountains uh, reflecting in the water is absolutely incredible. The entire scenic drive to Sedona from north and south are sites of their own. Sedona is located just an hour or so north of Phoenix and you must take Red Rock Scenic Byway. I will link it in the description. It is absolutely incredible. Another amazing site, I call it collaboration between humans and nature, is Chapel of the Holy Cross. Local rancher and sculptor Margaret Brunswick Stodd inspired and commissioned the church. She herself was inspired by newly built entire state building of 1932. She and Lloyd Wright, son of Frank Lloyd Wright, tried to build it in Budapest but had to scrap it because World War II has begun. So she built this church here in Sedona. And now, since 1956, the chapel sits on Coconino National Forest land on top, or more like blended into red rocks. It took 18 months and $300,000 to build this chapel. Life in Sedona is pretty tranquil, as long as you can afford living here. The sun, the desert, and the red rocks will take care of the rest. And coupled with great restaurants, art galleries, and shops, life is good here. So around 1900s, 15 homesteading families lived in the area. And one day, in about 1899-ish, uh, Theodore Shelby and Sedona Shelby, husband and wife, moved into his, this area for, to live with her brother. And Theodore Shelby was quite an entrepreneur and he started expanding and he needed to set up post office for this area and when he submitted the request to postmaster general in Washington DC they said well you have to come up with a name so he kept coming up with like Old Creek, oh, Oak Creek this, Oak Creek that and it kept getting rejected because they, it, the names were too long and eventually somebody suggested why don't you give, uh, put your wife's name in here and he submitted it and it got accepted and that's how this beautiful place got this beautiful name. Beautiful Sedona, 
Before saying goodbye, we stopped at one more place. It only takes a short walk. This is Amitabha Stupa, a sacred place and place of prayer, meditation, and healing for all people. Northern Arizona is a truly special place where nature's work is nothing but a stunning wonder and in Lychee chapter of Navajo Nation near Page, Arizona, right by Utah border, you will find a hidden treasure, a 200,000 year old antelope canyons, upper and lower. The only way to see it is to take a tour and no videos are allowed so you have to go and see it for yourself. It is amazing. The canyons were created by powerful rushing waters in kind of like in a blender manner, leaving these wave-like 120 feet tall walls. Sometimes these waters can come without any warning and they can be extremely dangerous and sweep anything and everything on its way. And as deadly as these storms are, they created this delicate masterpiece of a sculpture. A few years back, I've done a separate video about Antelope Canyon, Horseshoe Bend and the entire area, so please check it out. For Navajo Nation, especially their elders, this is a sacred place and at the beginning of each season they do a prayer ceremony for everyone to be safe here. Actually, Arizona has the greatest percentage of its, its acreage designated to Indian tribal lands and they have villages here that are coming all the way from like 1100 AD. And another fun fact, um, Navajo Nation has its own laws and uh, does not necessarily follow the laws of state of Arizona. And Arizona does not have daylight saving times. Um, so technically right now in, here is 1.35 and in Arizona it's 2.35. There's just one more canyon in northern Arizona that we visited, the most grand one of all, the Grand Canyon. This state is seriously jam-packed and an amazing one to get to know. Whenever we go to Grand Canyon, we always stay in Williams, Arizona. It's a small town but with a lot of character. And what I did realize is 30 degrees in the morning. We were in southern Arizona, right? And it was like, what, 75, 80, and we go up here, and it's 30 degrees. Williams is located right on historic Route 66. Route 66 was about two and a half thousand miles long, and um, it was removed completely from transportation system in 1985, and Williams, Arizona was actually the last uh, bypass that was built um, to remove it and it's right standing. Every single lots of little shops are here and coffee shops and restaurants are on actual Route 66 and I hope one day um, to do the whole trip, all two and a half thousand miles. It goes through three time zones and it passes through eight states. It takes about 45 minutes to get to Grand Canyon from Williams. It is hard to believe that this area six million years ago, it used to be flat. And now it's 277 miles long, 18 miles wide, and one mile deep. And we spoke to a ranger and he gave us the best advice. Try not to see everything. Just pick a spot and soak it in. 
to me it is not even as much about how Grand Canyon looks but about how Grand Canyon feels. The place is like a moment in life that is frozen in time. It is quiet like in a vacuum. You can only hear the wind and taking this depth, breath and beauty. It is one of those places where you feel your true place in the universe. Nothing is about you. Everything is about the universe. So if you're up for lectures, they have quite a few. Uh, one of my favorite ones is uh, raptors in flight. And uh, did you know, fun fact, raptors, their grip is they can hold about 400 pounds per square inch, while humans can hold about 20. <laughs> Wow, what a difference. And, uh, and for Condor, their wingspan is about 10 feet. Well, this is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. The trip was mind-blowing. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you one day will do it. And uh, please like it. If you liked it, please subscribe and follow on Instagram. Here's my handle. And please sign up for bi-weekly emails. I am writing about all my thoughts and processing and more information, more in-depth information about all the trips uh, within the United States that I'm doing. And um, yeah, once again, all the, all the links <laughs> and addresses and information is in the description below and once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace today i hit my forehead can you see it i hit my forehead with the scalper <laughs> I was uh, I was supposed to take it out and I hit it so hard so I have this oh look at that I have this bump and I was like I need to record <laughs> with a bump on my forehead like right around me.